Russia's cruel war against Ukraine pierces the heart of Europe. With the harshest winter just around the corner, the energy crisis is going to hit us all. But throughout history, blows like this have shaped a wiser and fairer European Union with more solidarity. The absence of Russian gas has exposed our vulnerability and dependence and the economic and social impact of having no alternatives. It also highlights the advantages of being better interconnected and making the most of what each country has to offer. To speed up the energy transition in order to fulfill the commitments to fight against climate change, by 2030, emissions need to be reduced by 55%. There is no time to lose. And in addition to the deployment of the current solutions, we must anticipate the future. We can push forward with energies that we plan to develop later and start to implement them right now. Green hydrogen is a great opportunity. It is produced by splitting water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The Repower EU plan, approved in spring 2022, sets out the hydrogen corridors that will connect Europe. The first of these drivers will be H2MED. It is the result of a political agreement between Spain, France and Portugal to build an underwater pipeline to transport hydrogen from the Iberian Peninsula to the center and north of the continent. This political commitment is already in motion, a connection between Celerico in Portugal and Zamora in Spain, and an underwater hydrogen pipeline. We have studied three possible routes. Here they are. We have chosen the most secure and efficient one. An underwater pipeline 455 kilometers in length, designed to transport green hydrogen and which will connect the ports of Barcelona and Marseille under the waters of the Mediterranean. The pipe will have a diameter of 28 and will be built at a maximum depth of 2.557 meters. It will transport 2 million tons of hydrogen each year. It is estimated to cost around 2.5 billion euros. In December, it will be presented to Brussels in a bid to be considered a project of common interest. Studies on environmental impact and technical development will be carried out over the next two years. Throughout this time, the project will be opened up to investment. When the project of common interest announcement is made in 2025, the works can begin. The project will be completed and ready to start transporting hydrogen in 2030. At the same time, each country will work to improve its domestic connections and make it easier for energy to be transported. Spain, France and Portugal seal this commitment, allowing us to move towards a Europe of prosperity and energy security, committed to the survival of our planet.